Well, back to that top story. President Joe Biden made his first remarks to the nation since dropping out of the 2024 presidential race. And his announcement happened this past Sunday, followed by him endorsing Vice President Kamala Harris. Now, this, of course, a move that has caused a major shakeup within the Democratic Party mm -hmm. as they now face a changing ticket less than a month before the Democratic National Convention. Our Washington correspondent, Maddie Beer Temple, joins us live tonight from D.C. Maddie, the president explaining why he arrived at this decision. That's right. Good evening. President Joe Biden said that he reveres the office of the presidency, but says he loves his country more, and that's why he's not seeking a second term. My fellow Americans, it's been the privilege of my life serve this nation for over 50 years. Days after announcing he would not seek re-election, President Joe Biden explained his decision from the Oval Office. Nothing can come in the way of saving our democracy. That includes personal ambition. The president said too much is at stake this election, and that became clear to him in recent weeks. More than 30 Democrats in Congress had called on him to withdraw following his debate performance June 27th. So I've decided the best way forward is to pass the torch to a new generation. The president said he's proud of what he's accomplished over the last three and a half years, but isn't done yet. He said he'll spend his final six months in office working to strengthen NATO, end the war in Gaza, and... I'm going to call for Supreme Court reform because this is critical to our democracy. President Biden also reaffirmed his endorsement of Vice President Kamala Harris, who now has the support from enough delegates to make her the nominee. She's experienced. She's tough. She's capable. Looking ahead to November's election and reflecting on the nation's founders, the president urged Americans to preserve democracy. Whether we keep our republic is now in your hands. Now, the president has a big day tomorrow. He'll be meeting with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu at the White House, trying to make progress in getting hostages home. Live in Washington, I'm Maddie Beertemple.